A warm welcome to all of you. Today I would like to show you how to conduct Contax Alpha Reliability Test from a Microsoft Excel sheet. It's very easy to calculate reliability test from a Microsoft Excel sheet. When we can able to apply this particular Contax Alpha Reliability Test means whenever if your data it is in a scaled form. Scaled form, that means that five strongly agree, four agree, three neither agree nor disagree, two uh, disagree, one strongly disagree. So whenever if your data is in scaled form, either in five point scale or in seven point scale, or else even in 10 point scale also, it's not a problem. Whenever if your data, if it is in the scaled form, you can apply this Cronbach Alpha Reliability Test. So Cronbach Alpha is the most common measure of internal consistency, the reliability of the data. We check the internal consistency of the data. We'll use this Cronbach Alpha Reliability Test. It is most commonly used when you have multiple Likert scale questions in a survey or in your questionnaire that form a scale and you wish to determine if the scale is reliable or not. If the scale is reliable or not. In such circumstances, you will use this Cronbach Alpha Reliability Test. Obviously, your data has to be in scaled form. Suppose an example, a researcher has taken 10 questions to measure the employee job satisfaction on five point scale from five strongly agree, agree, neutral, disagree, and strongly disagree. So it is in five point scale from five strongly agree, four agree, three neutral, two disagree, and one strongly disagree. In this context, you can use Cronbach Alpha test to test the internal consistency of the data. So I would like to demonstrate the same concept with the help of Microsoft Excel sheet now. Suppose here you can see the respondents that have been taken from one to 100, the respondents that have been taken from one to 100, and the number of questions Q1 to Q10, and uh, it is in the five point scale, five stands for highly satisfied, and the four stands for satisfied, three stands for neutral, and uh, two stands for dissatisfied, and one stands for highly dissatisfied. So the data it is in MS Excel sheet, and yourself you can able to calculate whether your data it is having internal consistency or not with the help of this Cronbach Alpha Reliability Test. For this one, we need to take the analysis of variance without replications. We need to take the help of analysis of variance without uh, replications. From this, we can able to calculate the consistency of the data. That's what we call the Cronbach Alpha Reliability Test. How to test it? I will show you. Here we go here data and you just click the here ANOVA two factor without replications. ANOVA two factor without replications, just double click it. Now what you need to do is just to select the data from starting point to up to the ending point. You take everything, no issue. On, uh, you know, uh, the vertical, the respondents, the horizontal, the number of questions, you select the data from starting to ending, the input range, everything. And select the labels. In my selection includes the header. That is what the labels of the data. So pick it and at 5% level of significance 0 0.05. And where exactly I want my output in a sense, I'm expecting my output at this particular point. That's it. 
just click OK. When you click OK, you can see here the summary. The summary of uh, 100 respondents, the summary of 100 respondents, you can see here and the count, the total count of a particular record, the total count of a particular record. So you are totally 10 questions are there and it's sum and it's sum and it's average and it's variance. So, okay, it's all about uh, uh, our context now we are going to calculate the chrome back all power liability test. It's, it's very simple. Suppose here you take, right? Oh, uh, back alpha value that we require now, right? So, so how do you calculate? That's very simple. Equal to one minus of equal to one minus of here we have see the error mean square value. The error mean square value divided by rho mean square value. Just press enter, that's it. So my internal consistency of the data it is all about uh, you know 88.95. The internal consistency of the data is 89% that I'm having the internal consistency of the data, 89%. Just So the my internal consistency of the data is 88.95. That means 88%. The problem by call for reliability value, 88%. So that's it. Such a simple manner, you can able to calculate the product alpha value, 88%. The problem back alpha value. I hope you understand this session. Thank you.